If you hear $1 a day and think it sounds like marketing glitter, you are not alone. Tesla Optimus will bring together precision mechanics, high-torque electric actuators, perception sensors, and AI compute, all wrapped in a manufacturable skin and supported by a service network. None of that looks like a spare change subscription. Yet the question refuses to go away because it is a test of feasibility rather than hype. So what conditions could a household or a small business truly use Tesla Optimus for only $1 per day, roughly $365 per year? If you already have an answer, leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video before we dive deeper into the idea. Welcome to Techno Creators. Start with the hard anchor that remains unchanged, regardless of how charming the story becomes. Capital cost dominates everything. Consider a sticker price in the band that observers often suggest for early general purpose humanoids. Spread that cost across $365 per year, and the naive math implies a lifespan measured in many decades. At 0% interest, $20,000 divided by $365 per year gives a figure around 55 years. $30,000 divided by the same annual payment gives a figure around 82 years. These numbers are not realistic product lives. They are the result of ignoring the time value of money and ignoring the unavoidable load of maintenance, insurance, and energy. Add even a modest cost of capital, for example, 5%, and you meet a simple rule. As life extends, the floor for annual capital cost approaches price times interest rate. At 5%, the best case annual burden tends toward 5% of the purchase price. If you want that burden near $365, then the hardware price must live at or below about $7,300 in the limit of very long life. If the device is financed over seven years, the capital recovery factor at 5% is roughly 0.173, which turns $7,000 into about $1,200 per year and $12,000 into about $2,100 per year. In plain language, without cross-subsidies or new business tricks. A $1 daily price needs either remarkably low hardware prices or financing and revenue models that move most of the burden off the user's visible bill. That reality does not close the door. It points at the two levers that have changed the cost of almost every modern device. The first is scale. The second is vertical integration. Costs fall as factories learn. In many hardware categories, unit cost drops by a consistent percentage whenever cumulative production doubles. This learning curve pattern has guided planning for solar panels, for lithium-ion cells, for displays, and for power electronics. Imagine early Optimus units with costs around $30,000 at a cumulative run of 10,000 units. If the learning rate is 20% per doubling, then scaling to 1 million cumulative units involves about 7 doublings, and could cut cost by roughly three quarters, placing the unit cost near $12,000. Push to 10 million cumulative units, about 10 doublings, and the projection lands near $7,000 to $8,000. These are thought experiments rather than promises, yet they illustrate why a company that already mass produces motors, inverters, gear trains, wiring harnesses, castings, and safety electronics can claim that a humanoid bill of materials can drift from car level toward appliance level as volume rises. Custom in-house actuators remove third-party margins. Shared factories for motors and power electronics shrink overhead. Automotive quality systems reduce scrap and rework. Each improvement moves the hardware price toward the threshold set by the capital math. Day-to-day -day costs tell a friendlier story. A service humanoid does not sprint most of the time. It walks at a modest speed, manipulates gently, and spends time at low power standstill while holding a pose. Planning around an average electrical draw in the 200 to 300 watt range for an eight hour duty window gives energy of about 1.6 to 2.4 kilowatt hours per day. At retail electricity prices near 12 cents per kilowatt hour, that is 20 cents to 30 cents per day. Even a busier schedule that averages 500 watts across eight hours lands near 50 cents per day. Maintenance can also be designed for predictability. Long-life grease packs and sealed bearings, reducer cartridge that can be swapped on a bench, and joint modules that are refurbished in a depot, keep scheduled service steady and keep surprises rare. 
bundle those visits into a plan and an annual maintenance budget between $100 and $200 is a reasonable planning target for a device that is built with industrial tolerances but lives in light-duty settings. That converts to roughly $0.28 cents to $0.55 cents per day across a year. Add a small amount for connectivity or cloud features when local compute is not enough. Energy plus routine service plus connectivity therefore can live between $0.50 cents and $1 per day, even before a manufacturer begins the usual grind of shaving watts and polishing bushings. Capital still sits at the center. To deliver a $1 daily experience with integrity, Tesla can attack the hardware price until it falls into the mid-single thousands, or it can treat the visible customer price as a front door into a larger value system that recovers most of the capital elsewhere. Elon Musk has floated the production targets that a cost engineer wants to hear, 100,000 units in the near future and millions later, which align with the first path. The second path is a platform play. Sell the robot as a service. Make money from a marketplace of skills, from commercial tiers, from partner subsidies, and from fleet utilization, rather than from a single one-time sale. In that world, the truth behind $1 is simple. The consumer price is not the true cost. It is the price seen by the user, and the remainder is covered by a stack of revenue sources that are invisible or optional to the household. It helps to imagine how a subscription could feel to a user. The banner is $1 per day for a basic tier. The tier includes a standard skill bundle and a fixed quantity of robot time in the home or in a small shop. The manufacturer or a finance partner owns the hardware and carries the capital. A service network handles wear modules, seals, and sanitation. A curated marketplace offers premium skills. A household uses the robot for one or two hours each evening for laundry folding, dishwasher loading, and tidying. These chores have low torque and low speed which keeps energy low and wear mild. The platform absorbs some hardware cost in exchange for long-term attachment and for upsell opportunities. A small business runs the robot for tasks that displace paid labor or extend hours. If the robot saves one paid hour at $15, the value to the user is a multiple of the $1 headline, which justifies a higher commercial tier or per task fees. The entry price remains $1 for low power, low-hour personal use, because this use fits inside the real variable costs. The platform recovers capital on the days when the robot does measurable work for a business that is happy to pay. Utilization adds another gear. Idle robots are sleeping capital. Timesharing can push utilization into healthy territory without asking any one user to pay for hours they do not need. A residential robot can work at home in the late afternoon, then travel to a nearby storefront for closing routines and return to a neighborhood depot for charging and self-checks. The homeowner enjoys a household helper at a trivial daily fee. The operator keeps the machine active for 10 or more hours over a day, which makes the capital math more comfortable. Such orchestration is challenging because humanoids are not scooters, yet a firm that owns actuators, batteries, depots, and logistics can build toward this pattern in dense markets. The lesson is that price per user and utilization per fleet do not have to match, and when they decouple, the $1 headline becomes far easier to honor. Energy can be packaged in consumer-friendly ways as well. If a robot daily energy need is about 2 kilowatt hours, the raw electricity cost in many regions is measured in coins. A platform that also sells energy products can still create plans that are easy to budget. A blended plan that covers charging, connectivity, and routine maintenance for $15 per month is simpler than separate bills. It also gives the operator freedom to optimize charging windows for off-peak times that are cheaper. None of this changes the foundation of capital math, but it removes friction and makes the user feel that the price is stable and fair. The first phase of a $1 experience will come with boundaries. A residential tier may include one hour of robot time each day with fair use limits that prevent abuse. Extra hours may be offered at low a la carte rates or included in a family bundle. A small business may buy a weekly bundle for a specific task, such as early morning inventory, with add-ons for evenings or seasonal rushes priced like cloud computing time. The psychology matters as much as the math. A base price that feels almost free reduces hesitation and invites trial. Once the robot proves reliable, customers build their own ladders of value by consuming more hours or by enabling more capable skills. 
If the robot reliably saves a shopkeeper 90 minutes of closing labor, paying $4 or $5 for that slot will feel like a bargain. If a family discovers that the robot can tend laundry while kids sleep, a weekend add-on that buys two extra hours will feel like an indulgence worth paying for. The $1 headline survives because it matches the lowest friction, lowest power, most universal use case, quiet and gentle work that most people want every day. How can Optimus Robot perform professional tasks? For those unfamiliar with the improvements and changes in Optimus Gen 3, it indeed features a new design, new hands with 22 degrees of freedom, faster movements, and a smarter brain, meaning it will be more autonomous than Gen 2. However, Tesla is always unpredictable, so they may do even more and make it even better. Recently, Musk publicly shared that redesigning Optimus has been one of the most challenging parts. Musk wrote on X that, well, Optimus is already doing some tasks in the factory and the scope of its ability is increasing rapidly. The toughest part by far is improving the design of Optimus for ease of manufacturing and tooling up a complex supply chain so it can be made in significant numbers. Designing a product isn't just about achieving functionality and aesthetics. It also requires optimizing the product for mass production at an affordable cost. Therefore, for Optimus Gen 3 to feature a more advanced design than the already refined Gen 2, we believe Tesla has conducted extensive research and development. This is also why we estimate that the real-world price of Optimus Gen 3 may range between $25,000 and $40,000. In Tesla's recent update videos, Optimus is shown performing basic tasks such as watering plants, cooking, picking up groceries, organizing battery trays, taking out the trash, and learning new activities. Tesla presents Optimus as a companion designed to safely assist with a wide range of household tasks, from childcare to elderly support. If you want to have a humanoid robot that can um, do things that a human can do, it's actually it's a, it's a very high bar. So our new arm has 22 degrees of freedom instead of 11. Recently, Musk has repeatedly emphasized that the new hand of Optimus will be the most critical update to convince customers to purchase the robot. This means it must be truly impressive, capable of performing a wide range of tasks similar to a human hand, aiming not to handle just 100 but 1,000 different tasks that human hands can perform. According to Musk, the upcoming 22 degree of freedom hand is being designed to function similarly to a human hand. While it may never fully replicate the astonishing capabilities of the human hand, Optimus's 22 degree of freedom hand is getting closer to bridging that gap. This upgrade will enable Optimus to double or even triple the number of tasks it can perform and to carry them out with greater precision. However, Tesla also acknowledges that this upgrade may demand significant effort from its engineering team. Improving the hand to achieve 22 degrees of freedom could represent half of the electromechanical work required for Optimus. Musk has emphasized that the hand alone accounts for about half of the technical effort involved. Since much of human intelligence is tied to what we do with our hands, Optimus will also need better hands if the Gen 3 model is to succeed. For any humanoid robot, not just Optimus, the hands are considered the soul of these walking machines. Exactly, interacting with the world manipulating objects and doing so safely. When you really start to think about your hands and how they function, you realize that all of our senses and motor control are deeply connected to them. To give Optimus Gen 3 a more impressive hand than the current Gen 2, Tesla's engineering team has placed most of the actuators in the robot's forearm. All of these actuators were designed from the ground up based on fundamental physics principles. The sensors in the hand were also custom built from scratch. Tesla Optimus Gen 3, unveiled at the Wii Robot event in 2024, marks a major leap from the Gen 2 version. Featuring 22 degrees of freedom in its arms, integrated full self-driving AI, and the ability to perform a wide range of tasks, from household chores to industrial operations, Optimus Gen 3 is expected to reshape the future of automation. Elon Musk has stated that this robot is not just a technological product, but also a key to Tesla reaching a market valuation of $25 trillion. Meanwhile, competitors from China are rapidly closing the gap. Qinglong, 
developed by the National and Local Joint Engineering Research Center for Humanoid Robotics in China, impresses with 43 degrees of freedom and the ability to handle household tasks through voice commands. PX5 from Xpeng Motors, launched in 2023, stands out for its agile movement and industrial applications. The G1 from Unitree Robotics, offered at a competitive price, focuses on agility and adaptability in dynamic environments. The battle between these robots is not only about technology, but also about pricing, mass production capability, and market acceptance. One of Tesla Optimus Gen 3's biggest advantages is its target price range of $20,000 to $30,000, significantly lower than earlier predictions for the unit robots, which typically range from $50,000 to $150,000. According to a report by Goldman Sachs, what do you think about this? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below. We hope to bring the best information to you. Please give a thumbs up if you like this. Join Techno Creator by subscribing and hit the bell icon so you will not miss out on any awesome videos. We value your feedback. Thanks for watching. Until then, stay safe and have fun.